What's going on everybody out in YouTube land and welcome back to another episode of GBA. In this episode we are going to take a look at some of my recent video game pickups and peripheral pickups, uh, accessory pickups, whatever you want to call it, over the last couple weeks. I've actually picked up some pretty cool stuff, some uncommon stuff, some rare stuff. So I've got a lot of stuff here to show in general, so I'm going to get right into it and a lot of this stuff I'm going to move through pretty quickly because I have so much, so please be prepared for that. So guys, let's get started. I'll show some of the non-game things first. So as a recommendation from uh, Gaming Off The Grid, which is a fantastic channel that I love watching, highly suggest you guys check them out if you haven't. Um, I picked up a pair of the Perfect Shot from Nyko. These are the perfect shotguns from uh, Nyko. They basically just take your Wii mode in them, uh, so you can use them for light gun games on the Wii. Um, I got one for me and one for my wife so we could play together, and they were right. These are fantastic. I love using these for some House of the Dead and, you know, games like that. So these are a high recommendation for me if you guys don't have them. Alright, so the next thing I picked up, it's not rare, but I feel like it's pretty uncommon to get this in the box and complete. Um, I just recently showed my Master System collection not that long ago, so if you guys didn't see that video, I highly suggest going back and watching that. Um, you get to see a lot of my cool Sega Master System games. But I recently picked up, I had one of these and it broke down on me. So I picked up another power base converter for the Genesis Model 1. So yeah, basically, if you guys don't know, this plugs into your Genesis Model 1 and into the cartridge slot. And basically it allows you to play Master System cart and card games on your Genesis. I find this so much easier than having a Master System hooked up. This way I can play my Master System games on the same thing that I play my Sega CD games and so forth and so forth. The less consoles I have to hook up, the better. So yeah guys, once again, I feel like this is pretty uncommon to get, you know, brand, uh, complete in the box like this. The box isn't in perfect shape, but it's in pretty good shape. And, you know, if you open it up, it's got all the styrofoam, the plastic baggies, got the instruction booklet so yeah I mean I would consider this a pretty good find and I'm happy to have it and like I said I'm I'm glad I can play my master system games again all right guys so let's move on to the games I have a bunch of games here if I had to guess I could I'd say I easily have 70 games to show you so I'm gonna move through these fast uh, we'll start with handheld stuff. I've got some stuff down here by my feet. If you see me bending over and picking stuff up, I just didn't have enough room to put everything on the couch. So let's start with the handheld stuff and we'll go from there. All right guys, we'll start with Game Boy Advance. This is a lot of filler, but I did pick up some good stuff. I'll probably show my favorite stuff from each console closer to the end of uh, the games that I'm showing show you the filler first. So for the Game Boy Advanced, we have Walt Disney's Enchanted. We have Hello Kitty Happy Party Pals. We have SpongeBob SquarePants Atlantis. We have Strawberry Shortcake Summertime Adventure. We have Walt Disney's Meet the Robinsons. Disney Princess Royal Adventure. Chicken Shot 2. We have a dual pack, Monsters, Inc. and Finding Nemo. P 
Puffy Aminumi Kiznapped. I probably just butchered that, but I mean, you can see the title right there. I know nothing about it. We have Charlotte's Web. All right, now moving into some of the better Game Boy Advance stuff. We have Cruisin' Velocity. We have Pokemon Pinball. We have Mario Kart Super Circuit. We have Mega Man Battle Network 3 Blue. And this is a filler title. I don't know how this got mixed in. We have Unfabulous. All right, Dynasty Warriors Advance. This is really fun right here. I quite enjoyed this one when I was playing it. We have Crazy Taxi Catch a Ride. This is really neat on the Game Boy Advance and I feel like the visuals are really good on this too. And who can't, I mean, I love Crazy Taxi. It's so much fun. We have Oddworld Munch's Odyssey. We have Mega Man Battle Network 4 Blue Moon. I'm not the biggest fan of these Mega Man uh, games. I really like the traditional style Mega Man games, like the Mega Man NES series and the X series and stuff like that. But, I mean, I guess these are alright. I just can't seem to get into them very good. And last but not least, this is probably the best Game Boy Advance game that I uh, bought this month. Um, it's definitely worth the most out of this lot, but we have Tactics Org from Atlantis. Atlas. Tactics Org from Atlantis. Atlas. Why do I keep on saying that? Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, this, this game is fun. Um, I haven't really spent too much time with it, but I do plan on it. And like I said, this is probably one of the most sought-after games that I picked up for the Game Boy Advance. All right, guys, moving right along, I'm going to show you the Game Boy Color games. So first up, we got Tom and Jerry's Mouse Hunt. We got Playmobil, Laura, whatever that is. We have Kelly Club. Once again, don't really know what this is. We have Dragon Tales, Dragon Adventures. We have Gobs of Games. That's an interesting little title. We have M&M's Minis Madness. We have Dragon Tales, Dragon Wings. We have The Little Mermaid 2 Pinball Frenzy. This is one of those Game Boy Color games that takes a battery and has rumble feature built in. I find these really neat, and the pinball physics aren't that bad. It's actually quite fun. We have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. WCW Mayhem. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Disney's The Lion King. 102 Dalmatian Puppies to the Rescue. Alright guys, so that does it for my Game Boy Color games. Let's move right along to the original Game Boy. Alright, first up we have Revenge of the Gator. Super Battle Tank.
Raging Fighter. Crash Test Dummies. True Lies. Bart Simpson's Escape from Camp Deadly. And Tecmo Super Bowl. Tecmo Bowl. We have Romstar Torpedo Range. I was having quite a bit of fun with this. It's a very uh, fun, easy game, and it's like pick up and play. I, I was actually enjoying this a lot. We have Boggle Plus. And last but not least, we have the Smurfs. I don't know if this is the exact game, but this reminds me a lot of the Sega, the Sega Master System game. Um, I don't think the Sega Master System game was released in the States, but at least at the beginning of this game, it reminds me a lot of that game. All right, guys, so we just pushed through all of the handheld stuff. So let's move along to some of the console items. I'm going to show you this uh, first. It's one of the better games that I picked up and one of the ones I was most excited to get. But it's the only Sega Genesis game that I have in this video. I really have not collected the Sega Genesis or Sega CD um, in the past. I'm just now really starting to get into the systems. And this is only the second Sega Genesis game that I own. Um, but this is a good one to get. Um, we have Alicia Dragoon. So yeah, for um, those of you that don't know, this is a pretty pricey game. And uh, it is just uh, so much fun. The gameplay is great. I mean, I'm absolutely having a blast with this. So I highly suggest people play this. Um, you know, if you don't want to pay the price for the cart... You know, you can play this game on the Sega Genesis Mini, or you can also use emulators, of course. But yeah, Alicia Dragoon for the Sega Genesis. Alright guys, next up, let's go ahead and show the Nintendo Switch games that I've picked up. So, I'll show you some limited run games and some uh, games that I just bought. This is from Limited Run. We have Freedom Planet. We have Rogue Legacy. Gear Club 2 Unlimited. I haven't had a chance to play this one yet, but I actually really enjoyed Gear Club Unlimited on the Switch, so I'm looking forward to trying the second one. We have Grip on the Nintendo Switch. I'm kind of a sucker for racing games, so I, I pick those up whenever I get a chance. Especially unique ones. Um, last but not least, probably my favorite game that, I've been pick, uh, that I picked up, and probably one that I've been waiting for a, quite a while, to be honest with you. We have Shakedown Hawaii. And this is the uh, like limited edition, collector's edition that comes in the bigger box here. So this is basically like a uh, Retro City Rampage game, and I've been waiting for a while for this. So I was very happy to pick it up when I had the chance. And I highly suggest you guys play it if you, you, you know, if you can. Um, digital is probably the easiest way to play it, but I just had to have a physical copy. So yeah, those are my Switch games that I picked up real recently. So let's move along to PlayStation 2. Now I must admit, I probably picked up 70 PlayStation 2 games or so, but I'm not going to show you a bunch of the filler. And besides, I don't even know what I showed in the last video or not. But I'm going to show you um, a few of the games that I was pretty happy to pick up and some of the ones I liked the most. So we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Battle Nexus. 
we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 Mutant Nightmare. I really like the Mortal Kombat games, so I picked up a few of those for the PlayStation 2. We have Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. I really um, like this, and if you guys get a chance to play this game, it's a lot different than the typical Mortal Kombat games. This actually incorporates a lot of beat-em-up elements, which I quite like a lot. So yeah, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Definitely one to pick up. We have Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Which I just got this for the GameCube not that long ago, too. We have Mortal Kombat Deception. So you yeah, guys, there's a couple of the PlayStation 2 games that I picked up. Nothing super crazy or special, but games that I like to play. Alright, moving right along. I just picked up about 20 PlayStation 1 games. I bundled these together in a lot and got a pretty good deal on them. So, I did get some filler titles. We'll show the filler titles first and then get into the games that I'm happy to add to the collection. So, first up, we have Bratz. We have A Bug's Life. Bob the Builder. WCW Nitro. WWF Warzone. WCW NWO Thunder. Now we're getting into some of the games that I'm actually pretty happy to add. We have Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. We have My Disney Kitchen, which is a very interesting game. Kind of educational. This is a lot of fun. I, I was having a blast playing this. Pac-Man World. There's a lot of different types of gameplay in this. You can even play the original arcade version of um, Pac-Man on this, so it's definitely neat. We have Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortez Strikes Back, and this has the lenticular cover there. We've got Crash Bandicoot Warped. You know, some people won't collect games that have the greatest hits labeling. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. I actually don't really care. So I'll pick up the game Greatest Hits or Black Label. It doesn't matter to me. Whichever one I can find. We have Tomb Raider, the original. We have Tomb Raider 2. Tomb Raider 3. Tomb Raider Chronicles. Tomb Raider The Last Revelation. And the five games that I, I'm most excited about we have Evil Dead Held to the King. We have Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. And last but not least, we have Silent Hill which I am super stoked to pick up. I've been wanting this for quite a while now. And the good thing about these PS1 games that I picked up, 
This guy kept them in great shape. Um, I found these at a yard sale, and everything looks brand new. The manuals, the game discs. I am super happy to get these, and glad I got there before anybody else did. Alright guys, let's do Nintendo 64 next. I only have three games here, but two of them I'm pretty happy to get. We have Forsaken 64. I think I got this in Video Games Monthly, if I'm correct. We have Buck Bumble, which is a very unique game, and I actually have a lot of fun with it, so pick it up if you see it. And last but not least, we have Duck Dodgers. So that's one I'm, I'm glad to check off the list. This one goes for a little bit of money. It's not overly expensive, but I found it for a great deal. All right, guys, let's go on to Super Nintendo. We have Super James Pond. When I was playing this, this game is almost brutally difficult. We have Vortex. Think this came in video games monthly? Lethal Weapon? This came from video games monthly. Eye of the Beholder. I think this one came from Retro Game Treasure. We have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This game is so much fun. I really like this one a lot. All right, and the three better games that I added, a couple of these I'm, I'm glad I got because they're staples in anybody's collection. We have Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. And last up on Super Nintendo, we have Street Fighter Alpha 2. This is one I've been looking to pick up for a little while now. This is actually very technically advanced for the Super Nintendo. I still find it amazing they were able to put this on the Super Nintendo. But yeah, Street Fighter Alpha 2 for the Super Nintendo. So definitely some good games in there to add to the Super Nintendo collection. Alright guys, let's move on to the NES. I got some pretty uncommon games for this system. Um, I don't know if you guys watch his channel or not, but back in the day Gamer is going for a complete NES set, and I am too. And I know me and him both have roughly the same amount of games. I think he said he crossed over 500, so he definitely took a leap ahead of me. I think I've got 478 right now, but we have Sesame Street, ABC, and 123. So I had Sesame Street, ABC, and I had Sesame Street, 123. I just didn't have the combo cart. I don't know how uncommon this is. It's definitely not very expensive, but I barely ever see this game. We have Little League Baseball Championship Series by SNK. This was quite fun when I was playing it. SNK knows how to do baseball games. I think this came in Video Games Monthly or Retro Game Treasure. We've got Kung Fu. We have Wizardry. We've got Puznik. Mickey's Safari in Letterland. I still got to get the other one in this. There's like two games like this. We have Werewolf, The Last Warrior. And then the last two games, definitely ones I'm glad to finally check off the list. 
we have the Adams Family Pugsley Scavenger Hunt. This game's relatively cheap on the Super Nintendo, but it does get up into the mid price range on the NES, so I'm definitely glad to get this. Not a very fun game. But this one is quite fun, and I am stoked to get this. We have Zen Intergalactic Ninja. So that's, a, that's another mid-price range Nintendo game that I'm happy to check off the list. Alright guys, let's move along to the final system, which is the Sega CD. I have been utterly enjoying the Sega CD here lately. So it has definitely been a system that I've been focusing on. Alright guys, so first up we have the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is a hidden gem on the system. I have been loving playing this. It's very arcadey. Um, it's not a typical basketball game, and I really like it. We have bouncers. If you have a Sega CD, pick this game up because it is a lot of fun, and it's cheap. We have Power Monger. We've got Iron Helix. We've got Chuck Rock 2, Son of Chuck. We've got Wild Woody. And last but not least, my favorite Sega CD game that I picked up, we have Final Fight CD. The box is a little bit beat up, but this is a cool game to get complete, and I'm definitely happy to add it. I kind of wish they would have never put Sega CD games in these cardboard boxes, but, you know, whatever, I guess. It, it kind of just stands out on the shelf with the others. But yeah, Final Fight CD. This is the way to play this game in this generation of consoles. This is a, probably the closest to the arcade version. But yeah guys, those are my Sega CD games. And speaking of which, I just posted a video recently showing my entire current Sega CD set. So if you guys have a chance, take a look at that and see what other Sega CD games I have. I think I've got roughly 28, 29 right now. But yeah guys, I just want to say thank you so much for sticking with this video to the end and watching uh, the video games that I've picked up over the last few weeks. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to go play some of these games now. So I hope you guys have a good day and a good night. See you later.